Welcome to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm gonna go in great detail and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how to set up Facebook Pixel for WordPress. Facebook Pixel is a piece of code for your website that lets you measure and optimize and build audience for your advertising campaigns. You can measure cross-device conversions, understand how your conversion devices ads help influence conversions and ensure that your ads are shown to the people most likely to take action and dynamic ads that help you automatically show website visitors the products that they're viewed on the websites or related ones as well. And you can get rich insights about how people use your websites from your Facebook Pixel dashboard. When someone actually visits your website and takes an action on it, the Facebook Pixel is triggered and reports this action. This way, you'll know when a customer took an action after seeing your Facebook ad. You'll also be able to reach this customer again by using the custom audience. When more and more conversions happen on your website, Facebook gets better at delivering your ads to people who are more likely to take certain action. This is called conversion optimization. And that is one of the reasons why many organizations right now are shifting towards Facebook Pixel and integrating it with their websites. In today's video, I'm gonna go in great detail. I'm gonna show you how that's done. If you have access to your website code, you can add the Facebook Pixel yourself. Simply place the Facebook Pixel base code, which I'm gonna show you in a couple of seconds and add standard events to the Pixel code on the special pages of your website, such as your add to basket page or your purchase space. And a full step-by-step -step instruction on adding the page pixel to your site is gonna be in this video. So stay tuned and let's get started. The main element you gotta keep in mind is the fact that you need to understand what your analytics are, who is coming to your Facebook page, what is happening, and how to measure and increase your efficiency of your shop. The first thing you gotta keep in mind is the fact that you need to have a business page on Facebook. After you have created a Facebook business page, you have to go to the business app. Once you click on the business app, there is a lot of options that come, but I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to go and what you need to do. In the business app, you have a lot of options from all apps, appointments, reservations, e-commerce, creative measurement, optimization, and lead ads. And there are different applications that are available. On the left-hand side corner, you have your home notification, inbox, post stories, commerce, planners, ads, and insights. What you need to do is go on all tools. When you click on all tools, you have different elements from engaging the audience, from managing, from advertising, from creating. What you need to do is you need to go from where it says advertising, you have your ads, ads manager, audience, and event manager. You need to click on event managers. When you click on events manager, a new page will be open. On that page, there's a lot of information that you would have. On the left-hand side, you would have your connecting your data sources, your overviews, your data sources, your custom conversions, and your partner integration. You need to click on partner integrations. When you do that, all the different websites that you have will open up. All the different commerce websites that exist open up. Now, a person could have an account on BigCommerce. A person could have an account on Equid, on Shopify, on uh, Cafe24. All of these are available, but a lot of individuals are actually have an account on WordPress. These are partner integration on Facebook. So you can use Facebook Pixel on any of these websites and combining those elements together, you'll be able to get analytics and data that you can measure, that you could mine, that you could understand and actually use that information to increase the efficiency and change the traffic that's coming on your Facebook into customers. And not only just customers, but lifelong loyal customers that would be buying services and products from you. So we would go on WordPress and when you click on WordPress, you'll be taken onto the next page. Over there on the next page, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to build custom audience, measure results and drive conversions. Now, when you connect with people who have already shown interest in your business, by running a retargeting campaign with a custom audience. That literally means that you would be able to show to your audience what products and what services you already have. You can even have a better understanding of how many people are converting on your Facebook ad so you can track and return on your ad spend and conversion rates and so much more. And by showing the ads to people who are most likely to complete a conversion, such as making a purchase or subscribing to a service. So what you need to do is that you need to connect to make sure that you can do that. So we'll go over here and we'll say connect to the account. And once you click on connect to the account, the meta pixel that is required to set up a connection with your WordPress, because if you don't have one, you need to create a new pixel to get started. So we'll go create a pixel. And once we start creating a pixel, the beauty of this is that it'll give us a complete breakdown step-by-step -step. and adding the pixel code to your website 
to run the conversion campaigns and build an advanced reporting and customer retargeting. The pixel is a snippet of the code that securely receives information from the website itself. So the pixel name we already have, you could put your website as an option. If you don't, it's perfectly okay. But the major thing that you've got to remember is the meta business tool terms and the help center. And you need to read and go through this to understand exactly what privacy they're talking about and what kind of information that you're actually giving to Facebook itself. So we're going to hit continue. Once we hit continue, it will take us to the next step. In the next step that the pixel is required to set up a connection with your WordPress, because if you don't have one already, we have to start. So we've created this and this is our pixel. So we're going to hit next. And after hitting next, it will give us a step-by-step -step methodology to show us exactly how it needs to be done. On your WordPress dashboard, you'll have a complete breakdown from posts, media, pages, comments, portfolio, contact appearance, and plugins. On plugins, when you click on plugins, if you have a plugin in a zip format, you may need to in install it by uploading it here. So you need to choose a file and obviously then install it. So you click on upload the plugin and then you choose the file, obviously Facebook pixel for WordPress, and this is a zip code and then you will install it. Once that is done, you'll be able to go to the next place, which it will be connecting your business to Facebook. This is a powerful tool for Facebook and Instagram where you can create an ad in a few steps. You can build in best practices for online sales and get reporting on sales and revenue. You will go to settings and when you click on settings and you will choose Facebook from the drop down menu and you will get started by following these instructions. When you hit next, this is the main element that comes to there. Verifying your pixel is working by sending test traffic to your website. And this may take several minutes, but if you don't change the status to active after sending the test traffic, make sure that you follow the previous instructions again and correctly to make sure that it's going. So we'll put the URL over here. And once we put the URL, we'll go for the test. So now we are going to test our traffic and we'll send send traffic to the website. And when we click on send traffic, it will go to the next page where it will send traffic to it. And obviously sending traffic will give it information. So we'll go back over here to our event manager. And now it is verifying by sending the traffic to that particular website. Now we're going to head over to our WordPress and install the plugin. When you go to your WordPress, what you need to do is go to plugins. And when you go to plugins, you will say add new. When we click on add new, we will actually upload a plugin by clicking over here. By uploading a plugin, we'll choose a file. And by choosing a file, we'll click on choose a file. It will be available on our desktop or in our computer. And we will open it by heading open over here. We will install it now and then it will take a couple of minutes to install the zip format that we have done and obviously it's installing the plugin from the uploaded one now we will activate the plugin which is very important guys you must activate the plugin for this to work if you have any issues i would suggest to watch this particular video again to ensure that the facebook for wordpress is activated we're going to go ahead and activate it right now and it is activated now now you would have to activate the facebook for wordpress and you'll click on over here and you will activate it once it has been activated you'll be able to get all the information that you read and then it will send the test traffic to your wordpress to ensure that the verification is done. So guys, this is a simple step-by-step -step methodology which you can use to ensure that you can integrate Facebook pixels with WordPress to ensure that you can get up-to-date information about your website and see exactly how and where your customers are going and what kind of traffic that you're bringing in and to get all that information and use that information, scale your business and create an atmosphere in which you'll be able to give proper information regarding your product and your service to your followers, to your customers, and change those customers to lifelong customers. So guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can always comment in the comment section below, and we will definitely reply back to you. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon and share this video with your friends and with your families so more people can find out how easy it is to use Facebook Pixel on WordPress. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.